Hi, good morning. I am Dr. G. Srinivas, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Minister of Aeronautical Engineering, Dindigal, Hyderabad. In the present video, I would like to discuss about the partial differential equations formation. So, we know that the differential equations are two types. The one is ordinary differential equation and other one is partial differential equation. Already we have seen in the first semester the ordinary, in say, uh, ordinary differential equations in the previous classes. That is first and second units. Now we are going to see the partial differential equations. So now I will go what is partial differential equation and what is an ordinary differential equation. The equations are two types. The differential equations can be classified into two types. One is ordinary differential equations and other one is partial differential equations. What is ordinary differential equation? If the given differential equation is in the, deriv the derivatives are reference to single independent variable, then the differential equation is said to be ordinary differential equation. Suppose if the given equation y is equal to f of x, where y is the dependent variable on x and x is the independent variable, and in the differential equation, the derivatives are reference to single independent variable, that is d square y by dx square plus 2 dy by dx plus some y is equal to cos x. So this is called ordinary differential equation. Why it is? The derivatives are reference to single independent variable through the equation. So all the derivatives are with reference to x only. So this differential equation is said to be ordinary differential equation. Then what is partial differential equation? In the given differential equation, if the derivatives have reference to two or more variables, two or more independent variables, then it is called a partial differential equation. Suppose a z is a function of two variables x and y. And we can have the partial derivatives of z with respect to x, with respect to y also exist. And there exists dou square z by dou x dou y. And dou square z by dou y dou x. There are several partial derivatives will exist because z is a dependent variable on x and y. And x and y are independent variables. z is the dependent variable. So, in the differential equation, that is dou square z by dou x dou y is equal to 2 into dou z by dou x plus some 4 into dou z by dou y, this equation is said to be a partial differential equation. Because you can observe that in the differential equation, the derivatives are reference to two variables x and y, not only single variable. There are two variables x and y. The derivatives run with the two variables x and y. So, this equation is said to be partial differential equation. So, in ordinary differential equation, the derivatives in the differential equation have reference to single independent variable. In the partial differential equation, the derivatives have reference to two or more variables. So, then we say that it is a partial differential equation. Now we see the definition, the original conventional definition. An equation which contains partial derivatives is called partial differential equation. So this is a partial derivative dou z by dou x. Dou z by dou y also partial derivative. This dou square z by dou x dou y, it is also partial derivative. So an equation containing partial derivatives is known as the partial differential equation. This is one way of uh, defining the partial differential equation. Another definition, another definition is, in the differential equation, if the derivatives have reference to two or more independent variables. So, here there are two independent variables x and y. So, if two or more independent variables, then the differential equation is said to be partial differential equation. So, in a differential equation, if the derivatives have reference to two or more independent variables, then the differential equation is said to be partial differential equation. Now, we will see how to form the differential equation and how to solve some types of differential equation we will see in this chapter. 
So for so this is for, first see the example for instance dou z by dou x plus 2 into dou z by dou y is equal to 2. It is the partial differential equation. Because the derivatives of z with respect to x is there. The derivative of z with respect to y also there. So z with respect to x and y two variables are there. So it is a PDE. This is also a PDE. And dou square u by dou x dou y is equal to dou u by dou z whole cube. So here there are three variables x, y and z. So here u is a function of x, y, z. Here u is z is a function of x comma y. So there exists dou z by dou x, dou z by dou y like that. Here there exists dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou u by dou z. That means u is a function of three variables x, y, z. So the derivatives will exist dou u by dou x, dou u by dou y, dou u by dou z. And second order derivatives, dou square u by dou x dou y, dou square u by dou y dou x, all are the partial derivatives and an equation involving the partial derivatives is known as partial differential equation. And notation, what is the notation in this chapter we follow is, dou z by dou x is denoted by small p. The partial differential coefficients dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y will be denoted by p and q respectively. Wherever you dou z by dou x found, you can replace it by p and dou z by dou y is equal to q. Similarly, the second order partial differential coefficients dou, z, dou square z by dou x square, this is equal to r. Dou square z by dou x dou y, that is yes. Dou square z by dou y square, that is d. So these are all the second order partial differential coefficients. These are the first order partial differential equations. So to use the notation dou z by dou x is replaced by p dou z by dou y q dou square z by dou x square r dou square z by dou x dou y s dou square z by dou y square is equal to t. Now the next item is how, what, how to find the order and degree of a PDE. So what is order and P degree of a PDE? So like ordinary differential equation here also, the order of the PDE is the order of the highest partial derivative appearing in the given equation. So clearly the highest order derivative here is dou z by dou x and dou z by dou y. That means what both are first order partial derivative. So this is a first order differential equation, first order PDE. And its degree is the degree of the highest order derivative, degree of the highest order derivative. That means what? Dou z by dou x power. Suppose if it is the first degree differential coefficient, it is also first degree. Then the power of this is also 1. So this is first order and first degree. So order means the order of the PD is nothing but order of the highest partial derivative appearing in the given equation. And the degree is the degree of the highest order derivative occurring in the given equation. Here, it is a second order differential equation. Is of first order and first degree. This is second order and first degree because the highest derivative is second order. The power is 1. You can observe that these are all the second order derivatives. The powers are 1 means it is the first order and first degree differential equation. If one of them is whole square, then degree is equal to 2. So, all are 1. So the degree is also 1. So this is the partial differential equation of order is equal to 1 and the degree is also 1. This is, uh, sorry, order 2 degree 1. Order 2 because it is dou square z by dou x square. This is the first order and the first degree. Both are 1. In the first example, both are 1. Right. So in this way, you can observe that the order and degree of the given partial differential equation. Now the first one is how to form the differential equation. How to form the partial differential equation. So that is topic is formation of partial differential equations. So you have seen there are two types of differential equations. One is ordinary and second one is partial differential equation. And we have seen order and degree of the partial differential equation. Now, how to form the differential equation by the, from the given function? So, partial differential equation can be formed in two ways. By eliminating arbitrary constants and by eliminating arbitrary functions. The partial differential equation can be formed by eliminating arbitrary constants as well as arbitrary functions. 
So, we will see partial differential equations can be formed by either by elimination of arbitrary constants or by the elimination of arbitrary functions. We can, if there are constants in the given equation, then you can eliminate and you can eliminate the arbitrary functions also to form a differential equation, to form a relation involving three or more variables. Now, how to form the differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constant that we will see in the first example. And in the second example, how to form the differential equation by eliminating arbitrary functions. Right, partial differential equations can be formed by eliminating arbitrary constants and by eliminating arbitrary functions also. So, how to, how to eliminate the arbitrary constants that we will see in the first example and how to eliminate the arbitrary functions in the second example. Right. So, treat the, consider the first problem. Eliminate two arbitrary constants A and B from x minus A whole square plus y minus B whole square plus z square is equal to R square. It is a sphere equation with center A comma B comma 0 in radius R units. Here R is a known constant. Right. So, we have to eliminate A and B constants. And R is a fixed constant, not it is arbitrary. We have to eliminate A and B and we have to form the differential equation. Or the question can be asked in the different way. Find the differential equation of all spheres of fixed radius having their centers in xy plane. So, an xy plane means this is x, y and this is z. So, the center means A, B, some 0. Z value 0 in xy plane z value is 0, the centers on, you consider the spheres the, whose centers are on x y plane. So, on x y plane means the center a b will be there and the last ordinate z value will be 0. So, on fixed radius means r is the fixed one. So, either this question asked or this question asked, the answer is the same. So, you have to form the differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b and form the differential equation. So, for this, so see this, I uh, will uh, first write the given equation, given family of spheres, x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z square is equal to r square. So, first uh, observe that how many arbitrary constants to be eliminated from the given equation. So, there are two arbitrary constants a and b which are to be eliminated in the process. That means what? We need two equations to eliminate A and B. So, if there are two arbitrary constants, we need two equations to eliminate the arbitrary constants A and B. And we can form the differential equation. So, that is why we have to differentiate the given equation number 1 partially with respect to x one time and then with respect to y, the same equation will be done in the second time. So, there will be two equations. So, on differentiating partially with respect to x first, so, when we are doing partial differentiation, the other variables with respect to x, if you are doing the other variables, y treat as constants. If you do the partial derivative with respect to y, x treating as constant. That is the way of finding the partial derivative. So, here z is a function of x and y. Here z is a dependent variable on x and y and z is a function of x and y. You have to understood that. So, consider the equation 1 on differentiating partially with respect to x. So, the, what is the derivative 2 into x minus a? I will write the derivative here. 2 into x minus a derivative x minus a 2 into x minus a x derivative 1 plus y constant because you are doing partial derivative with respect to x only. y constant b already constant the derivative is 0 plus z square. z is a function of x and y. So, we have to differentiate because z is involving x term also. We are doing differentiation partially with respect to x. So, we have to write 2z into dou z by dou x is equal to r is constant fully 0. I hope it is clear. And differentiating partially with respect to x, 2 into x minus a, x differentiation 1 plus second term 0 plus 2z dou z by dou x is equal to 0. Or 2, 2 on taking right side, the values will be 0. And 2z or sorry, z you can write z dou z by dou x is equal to minus of x minus a. 
This is the equation. Or you can write 2z dou z by dou x is equal to minus 2x minus a. Similarly, on differentiating with respect to y, if you are not cancelling the two value, 2 as it is, 2z dou z by dou x is equal to minus 2 into x minus a. So, I have cancelled 2 and I have written this equation, no problem. So, second equation, what is the second equation with respect to y partial derivative? So, x minus a whole square 0, y minus b whole square 2 into y minus b into, so with respect to y means it is 1 plus, z is a function of x and y again. So, we have to write 2z dou z by dou y and r square value 0. But what is r, what I can write 2z dou z by dou y is equal to minus of 2 into y minus b. So, this is the equation 2z dou z by dou y is equal to minus 2 into y minus b. First equation 2z dou z by dou x is equal to minus 2 into x minus a. So, on differentiating partially with respect to x, you will get the first equation. On differentiating partially with respect to y, there are second equation. Now, what is our objective? We have to eliminate a and b from the two equations and we have to form the differential equation. So, before that I substitute dou z by dou x is replaced by p. Already I told in the introduction, dou z by dou x is, this is the first order differential coefficient that is used by p value and dou z by dou y is q and dou square z by dou x dou y that is equal to r, sorry dou square z by dou x square, dou square z by dou x square is r, dou square z by dou x dou y that is s. Yes dou square z by dou y square that is equal to t. So, this notation will follow throughout the chapter. So, here I write uh, dou z by dou x is replaced by p and dou z by dou y is replaced by q. Then what we will get in the first equation 2 to cancel x minus a is equal to minus p into this is replaced by p into z minus p z this is first equation. Similarly, second equation y minus b is equal to minus 2 to cancel minus z into q, minus qz, that is the second equation. So, now what you have to do? To eliminate a and b, x minus a replaced by minus pz. x minus a replaced by minus pz, that is minus pz whole square plus, substitute these values in equation 1, then you will get the automatical equation, partial differential equation. Plus y minus b, what is minus qz, whole square is equal to r square or what you can write p square z square plus q square z square is equal to z square sorry r square or z square and taking outside p square plus q square is equal to r square i will show that p square z square substitute in this p square z square plus minus q z whole square plus z square is equal to r square, there is z square also, so plus z square is there and plus z square, so then what do you get, z square common term and taking out z square you will get p square plus q square plus 1 is equal to r square or what is z square is equal to r square by p square plus q square plus 1, but what is r is constant, it is a normal constant p and q are p means dou z by dou x whole square q means dou z by dou y whole square plus 1 this is z square which is the required partial differential equation after the elimination of after the elimination of the arbitrary constants small a and small a. so what is the procedure you have to observe how many constants to be eliminated if there are two constants, then you have to differentiate two times. That means for first with respect to x, then with respect to y. So, then the order of the integration will be one first order differential equation only. This is first order and second degree differential equation. Am I right? First order and second degree differential equation. So, now see the problem number two. Here also we find the partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary function by eliminating the arbitrary function from z is equal to f of x square minus y square. So, we have to eliminate small f. This is a function of x square minus y square. We have to eliminate z 
and we have to sir f and we have to form the differential equation so what is given z is equal to function of x square minus y square so on differentiating with respect to x and then with respect to y equation 1 first to do differentiation partially with respect to x then partially with respect to y then we get two equations dz by dx is f of x square minus y square so what is the derivative f dash of x square minus y square into so the differentiation of x square minus y square with respect to x means this is 2x minus this is 0 because it is the other variable y we are differentiating partially with respect to x this is 0 so 2x minus 0 that is 2x similarly differentiate equation 1 with respect to y do z by do y is equal to this is same as f dash of x square minus y square Into minus two y, so x square value zero because it is a x term. We are differentiating partially with respect to y, so this is zero minus y square derivative two y, so minus two y into f dash of x square minus y square. Now how to eliminate f dash? So what are the equations? Do z by do x means p is equal to two x into f dash of x square minus y square. That is the first equation. Dz by dx means p, 2x into f dash of this one. What is the second equation? Second means third equation. Q is equal to 2y minus 2y minus 2y into f dash of x square minus y square. There are two equations, and our aim is to eliminate f. F means here f dash is to be eliminated. So that can be done by making Equations two uh, by three or three by two. I'm making two by three. Two divides three. Then what you'll get p by q on the left hand side. P by q. Here what is two x of dash of x square minus y square by minus two y of dash of x square minus y square. So two two cancel. And f dash of x square minus y square of dash of x square minus y square also cancel. So what is the value? P by Q is equal to minus x by y. So is there any P F in this? F eliminated. So this is the required equation. This can be written as P y is equal to minus Q x or P y plus Q x is equal to zero, which is the partial differential equation by eliminating the function F. So here you can see that. So I'm doing two by three. The same whatever I told in the previous slide. And doing two by three, do it by do x minus x by y, or p by q. Do it by do x means p by q is equal to minus x by y, or p y is equal to minus q x, or p y plus q x is equal to zero, which is the required required partial differential equation. P y plus q x is equal to zero. Right. So by eliminating arbitrary function, I formed in the Uh, differential equation in the second example in the first example by eliminating arbitrary constants we have formed the differential equation so i will go through the last problem find the partial differential equation by eliminating the two arbitrary functions f and g the equation is z is equal to y into f of x plus x into g of Z is equal to y into f of x plus x into g of y. So, what is the given equation? Z is equal to x y f of x plus x into g of y. And differentiating with respect to x, and then uh, the same equation with respect to y, you'll get do z by do x is equal to y into y is variable y. We are differentiating partially with respect to x. Only f of x to be derivated. F of x derivative of dash x plus x derivative one g of y is treating as constant so y into f dash x into plus g of y that is equation number two similarly on differentiating partially with respect to y do z by do y is equal to so on differentiating with respect to y y becomes one f of x will be as it is plus x constant g of y derivative g dash of y i hope this is clear do z by do x is equal to Y into f of x plus g of y. Do z by do y is f of x plus x into g dash of y.
Now what to do? I again differentiating with respect to x and y. So I am again differentiating with respect to x and y. So see this, I will tell you here only. I am differentiating equation 2 with respect to y, dou square z by dou x dou y with respect to y. So y will be 1, f dash x as it is constant plus g of y will be g dash of y. That is f dash x plus g dash of y. That is, I have written here f dash x plus g dash of y, f dash x plus g dash of y. Or we can do the same thing for differentiating equation 3 with respect to x, dou square z by dou y dou x. With respect to x means f of x will become f dash x. Second term x1 and g dash of y will be same as g dash of y. Both are same. So you can use either of the equations to find dou square z by dou x square or the dou, dou, dou square z by dou x dou y or dou square z by dou y dou x. Now, see the equations 2 and 3. So, just I am replace, just I am substitute, uh, see the equations 2 and 3. I am multiplying the equation 2 with x and equation 2 with y. Now, I am having the small multi manipulation here. x into dou z by dou x means p, x p. So, I am doing x to dou z, dou z by dou x is there already, dou z by dou y there. I am doing x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y, that is x into g of y plus y into f of x plus x into y into f dash x plus g dash of y. So this is x into g of y plus y into g of x, f of x, the whole thing can be replaced by z plus x y variables into this is f dash plus g dash or this is x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to z plus x y into f dash plus g dash. So that is from equation I will show you. f dash plus g dash. That means f dash x plus g dash of y can be replaced by dou square z by dou x dou y. So that is replaced by dou square z by dou x dou y. So this theorem will be the eliminant of the functions f and g and which is the required partial differential equation which is the required partial differential equation. Clearly there is no f term in this, there is no function g. So, both are eliminated. Now, the differential equation will be x dou z by dou x plus y dou z by dou y is equal to z plus x y into dou square z by dou x into dou. So, this is the required partial differential equation for the given function by eliminating the two functions small f of x and g of y. So, these are the problems related to the uh, elimination of arbitrary constants and the elimination of arbitrary functions. And these problems are taken from the textbook Mathematical Methods written by TKV Iyengar, S. Ranganatham and other two authors and by S. Chan Publishers of 2006 in the Partial Differential Equation chapter and that you can verify in the textbook also. So, the problems taken uh, from that book only and uh, thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.